Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to part 7 of my PlayStation 1 Games Collection. So guys, uh, I'll probably get this finished in the next part, part 8. And um, yeah, I don't think I'll get it finished in this part, so let's just get going, shall we? First game, Pandemonium. This is an absolute amazing platform game. Um, my sister's also got this game and she also absolutely loves it as well. And it's just so great, guys. You get the choice of two characters. And it's really tough. It's actually a really challenging platform game. Uh, second, I don't know, Pandemonium 2. I had a look at the Pandemonium 2 on YouTube, but I didn't even like look at it very much. I prefer this look at this one, so a lot better. Um, feel free to correct, uh, correct me, guys, if I'm wrong. If you've played Pandemonium 2 and you think it's quite good. Yeah, guys, solid as hell, but still pretty cool. Pretty good game. My dad also used to like that back in the day. Next one is Colony Wars. Now, well, get the manual out. Right, over. Oh. Guys, two discs. Is it two discs? No, it's two discs. <laughs> I was thinking there's hidden discs at the back of it. Right, um, yeah, guys, uh, I played this when I was younger. I didn't have a damn clue what I was doing. I think you've got to like, do what the person tells you probably would help. But, uh, <laughs> but um, no, I was, I was young. I just didn't. I just started shooting an inning, you know. So yeah, I need to get that shot again. And there is no medieval. Yep, I uh, showed you the second one in like part two or something, or part three, whatever the hell it was. And I said I really liked it. And this one, I think, is probably the best one, I think, guys. I like them both, but I think this one's best. Pretty damn tough. I never completed it. Um, but, you know, I just didn't know. I, as a part or not, I didn't know where to go. But, you know, I should probably give that another shot, guys. <laughs> Mickey's Wild Adventure. Yeah, this is actually um, another one of my favourite platform games when I was younger. This is a really good platform game, guys. I think this is a remake of the Sega Mega Drive game Mickey Mania. I believe it is. And it's just really good, guys. Really good. I've never... I completed it on, like, practice mode. Which is, like, the, which is kind of the full game. Well, it's not really. It misses out bits. And you don't get, like, a final level. Like, the... Mickey and the Pope, or whatever the hell it was, and I did play it on the harder mode, the hard mode, and I got to the final level and I died. So I need to go back and try and beat that now. But it, it's actually really solid. It's actually pretty hard on the hard mode. Next one is, yeah, I did pay, I did pay that much back in the day. Duke Nukem, time to kill. Duke Nukem is a really funny guy, guys. Really funny. He's got some really funny stuff. He basically like shoot these pigs with guns, which quite strange actually. But you shoot these pigs with guns and he just says a whole lot of funny stuff. So yeah. Never completed the game guys, but you know, I should probably get back to that one as well. I'm gonna say that for like all my games guys, I'm gonna I should get back to this, I should get back to that. Yeah. You can stick it here and that. Right. Duke Nukem Land of the Babes. I think that's uh, the one after um Time to Kill. Yeah again guys, I think this one a little bit um a little bit easier than the other one, but yeah, again, didn't get far into it. You're basically, shooting, I think you're shooting pigs again. But um, yeah, it's Duke Nukem's still as funny as ever, guys. Some more uh, funny catchphrases and sayings and that as well. Really, really good. Right, next one is. Oh, look, two games. Two games in one case, guys, because it's a replacement case. First one, we have Skull Monkeys. Skull Monkeys. This, guys, is actually a really, really fun platform game. It's pretty, um, it gets pretty hard later on. I didn't complete it, but there's like a level, it's like a password screen, right? You can just, just spam your controller, like, just press any old buttons, and you may even get, um, put into a level, guys. I mean, there's so many passwords in the game because of, like, wipes and that. You get, um, different passwords depending on how many wipes you get. Or basically, on my power ups and stuff you have. So basically, you spam your uh, controller, and the chances are you will get a correct password. It's that, um, it's that, it's that strange, guys. It's that strange. So, yeah, really fun part from game. And I don't know, I've never seen that in the shop apart from. I think I've ever seen that in the shop at all. My dad bought me that for my Christmas a few years, a few years ago. Like, and the next game, hey, and the game that's on the other side, Chris Bandicoot 2. Which this is scratched to hell, but it works. Poison, it works.
yeah, I fully completed it, and it, well, not fully completed it, but I've got through other levels, so it does work, I just need, to, yeah, again, guys, I couldn't get all the gems, and, um, yeah, it was just a gem, so I couldn't get all the gems, guys, so I didn't complete 100% of the game, but I still really enjoyed it, you know, it's probably, it's probably my second favourite Crash Bandicoot with the PS1. In fact, my second favourite Crash Bandicoot of all time, because the PS2 ones are, yeah, I think. Right, next one is, I might as well get this in the way, when, when, when I will, um, well, showing you that in, uh, Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. Ha, oh, my favourite guys in the Crash Bandicoot series, I flipping love this game. Really fun, yep, played that much back in the day, Game Station, but we got to get me it one day. So, yeah guys, this was fucking fantastic, a lot better than the second and first one, a lot better than the first one anyway. Um, second one is pretty damn close actually guys, to be honest, but this is still, uh, this still edges it for me. Once again, didn't complete, um, didn't get all the gems or the relics, the time trial relics, but I did um, complete like the final boss basically, so, you know. I need to go back and see if I can get the gems and stuff, which will be pretty, um, pretty interesting actually, because I'm pretty crap at finding gems and uh, finding other boxes and stuff. I think you get like secret areas and stuff that I've got boxes and that in it, which isn't really fair. Next game is Tekken 2. Very hot girls in the front cover there. You can see the discs, um, you know, the work, the work thing, whatever just came up with. The material of it is right, so let's show the box well. Yeah. Yeah, guys, so very hot disc, and um, it's not right, not too bad. Uh, pretty decent Tekken game. My first Tekken game I actually played, guys, so yeah. Not as good as the third one, and the third one totally destroys it, in my opinion. I'm sure people will probably disagree, but that's my opinion. But still, pretty fun game, and I like the disc. <laughs> uh, next game is, and you're wondering what the hell is that, and it's not got the front cover of this old dress, it is, do 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 do, Soul Void, oh, I love Soul Void, I actually like this better than Tekken, it's probably like one of my all time favourite fighters, it's, it's a classic guys, what can I say, it's a classic, you on a PS1, you on a PS1 you should get this game, or if you got a PS2, the, the, the series is now called Soul Calibur, so yeah, this will still remain in my heart because it's a fantastic game. I played it a lot when I was younger. A real classic. Um, let's see. Disney Pixar's Monster Inc. Monster Inc. Scare Island. Um, I don't really like it too much, to be quite honest with you guys. I really don't. Um, I remember playing it when I was younger, you can put the game and after that you can just roam a boot or something and I don't think there's much else to do apart from like start a new game and do it all again, which I didn't do, so yeah. No no my it's not a good map in you guys, but you know, some people might disagree. Uh FIFA football two thousand and three, I'm not gonna talk about it too much, it's FIFA, it's on the PS one and it's a classic. Ah, what a case when you put my finger. Stone Corps, right. Tomb Raider 3. Yeah, again, guys, didn't complete a Tomb Raider game. You're going to be sick of hearing me saying that. But this, oh, I did not get far into this at all. I think I was at like, the second level. <laughs> I just, get, just didn't know where to go, guys. Uh, I, need to get, I need to give this another shot. Because, like I say, I'm better at... Um, Finding things in games now, finding keys and places to go, so need to give that a shot, guys. Again. And we have some, we some weird board game, which I oh, like, funny enough. It's called The Hunter, and uh, I did pay 7 9 back in the day. Yeah, guys, it's The Hunter, you like a board game, you roll a dice, you move, and these monsters or stuff and come after you, and then. Um, ah, I can't explain, guys. It's, Pretty difficult to explain, but it's like a puzzle strategy kind of thing, and it's pretty fun actually for a cute make of a game. It's really fun. Uh, I've not got time for any more, guys, so I'm just going to call the video right here. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in part 8, which will definitely be the final part. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all there. See you guys.